Hey, what's good, people? Welcome back to your boy again, July Graphics, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, uh, what we'll be doing today is something pretty nice. We're doing a Christmas carol design with Photoshop. So, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips, some tricks to make your design pop out, look beautiful. I'm going to be showing you guys how I get this done with Photoshop in this tutorial. So, we have seen it, we probably have seen it in um in the um, thumbnail of, the, this, uh, of this tutorial before actually clicking it so I want to show you guys how to do all of this and then so without any further ado let's dive straight in okay now the tutorial started so we are going to create a workspace of um, A4 size and then wait now we are doing this design um, having it in the back of our mind it's going to be printed on an E5 paper that is half of an E4, so that's that. Before I start, I'm going to show you guys my my um my folder where I'm working. So these are everything I'm working with. Here I've got all the resource files I'm be using. So just check down, check down in the description section. I dropped the link for you to download it there. So these are all what I'm, I'll be using in the tutorial. So and this one over here is the text so let me quickly start my arranging so i'll meet you guys in the gp So okay guys um basically we have created a skeleton it's just like a skeleton like um it's having like um the base of our design so it's time we beautify what we got here okay so as i've told you guys we have this are the resource files i'm going to drag it to my standard monitor like this and then yeah i will just start giving it a better arrangement so um, this decoration actually um you don't just you you shouldn't think um it's a preset like i just downloaded it i actually got them from different so different sources and then i arrange them and then get them to be arranged like this. so you can use them in your flyers it will serve as an header perfectly for you so you don't have to be arranging them all around you see as it goes here yeah, it's nice and then there's this about that and then i think we need to quickly add in our logo that's the logo of the church, which I no most Nigerian designers actually like putting the logos at the top. Yeah, when I mean most, I mean most. <laughs> I know I'm saying, but some of you like being special, taking it down. It's a nice idea. I do that sometimes, but I think this logo is not. This design is not going to have me do a lot of works. So um, that's it. The reason why I'm making this video a bit like time lapse, I'm very sorry because this is um, unusual of me. I actually comment, make commentary throughout the video, but um, I'm in the neighborhood where there's a lot of noise, children are around, so they're kind of free in my moments. This is around the third time I'm making um, the recording of this video, so. Um, I think I learned my lesson, <laughs> so I had to be the time lapse. I think they are not around uh, for now, that's why I'm just having the freedom to make noises and talk around. So, once I, I think they are coming around, I'll just quickly switch back to the time lapse. So, I pray you guys, <laughs> I hope you guys be with me. Okay, so that is there about this. The logo is in a very nice spot over there. So the next one we add is um, like this place is kind of different from this part. So let's kind of like add a decoration or demarcation um, around here. So I'm really going to drag this in. 
So as I've said earlier, all the files you've been needing are already given to you guys. So you don't need to do any extra work. Just just check down there and download and use free. No pay, nothing, nothing. Free. <laughs> okay. So maybe I just reduce the size a bit and then tap enter and then rearrange it. I think it's perfect like this. Then um I think the next thing I want to do is um, like actually add um a Christmas carol cap to the end of this um Christmas over here. Do it the size and then zoom in and then arrange it like this. So this cap also will be there. You can even um insert it on the head of someone in your designs and it's going to make great like brain is gonna be brain gonna be very very okay so just reduce this and apply it like this so that should do so that okay it looks quite natural okay so um let me check again you know the design is actually a bit scanty the white background i like to add a kind of like a small small background effect around it so i dragged in this png file and it created this kind of pattern in the design background and it's i think it's nice it's cool so you just let that be and let that go around there so the next thing we want to do is um actually create a busy away hold this part be so the design will just actually end up being a pure white design ultra it might make brain it might be okay but i just um i like it so um i'll just be dragging the red christmas background oh yeah so uh, most of these images i got them from the internet I got them from the internet so it took me a lot of time um i made this design about a week ago but i think it's ready now Okay, so okay, I think now that we have that space over there, it's actually a bit decorative. It's a bit decorative, so um, the next thing I want to do is actually um, I want to add um some things to the design. So there are a lot of yeah, but let's quickly start by giving this color a base of white color so that everything will be a bit whitish and uh, it will come out well on our red background. So I'm taking it out like this exactly. So um for this Christmas carol service, so I want to give it um a I'm going to power clip something inside like I make power clip. Now, yes, I'm going to use the clipping mask function to just quickly take this inside of it like this. Yeah, so that we have this red, not totally red, but a kind of red color. And then and then well positioned so we just arrange it properly. Maybe increase the size a bit and then boom. There we go. So I think this one is making sense like this so uh, we just want to add um for this wonderful also we just want to quickly um add this to it let me just check and scroll around this red flower over here um you might be like wow how come what is this yeah it's, it has a pattern it gives i use it a lot in some of my designs although not actually christmas but it's nice it has this it has this kind of pattern it gives to it like this yellow here and then you see the lines coming around and i think that's cool it's cool so um after doing this i'm just quickly going to go to the um effect i mean um well, what is it called again just double click on the layer it's going to bring it layer styles yeah layer styles that's the one and then i'm going to enter bevel and impose Increase the depth like mad and then soften it. Um, if it's not, I think it's nice like that. But let me just reduce the size a bit. No, I want the size down to the edge, like mad size. And then 
um, just one will you are. Play around with this other figure that is the highlight of a make it in okay in this and then the darkness also will reduce it a bit. Okay. And then increase the brightness also. I think yeah, exactly. It's making it's having a nice feel over here. Okay, so having gotten to this stage, we are almost close. So um the white background around here we might just want to add some particles. So I have some particles over here also I'm gonna be using. So I'll just quickly drag that down here and just wait for it to load and then boom. So the particles make yeah, it gives it this this feel of that something is okay. So yeah, I see what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm noisy neighbors around so I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry, as I said. Okay. So um we have pretty much added these uh, particles and it makes a lot of difference. So for this part and this part it looks kind of like dry. So let's quickly add um a Christmas gift around here. Yeah. So you know it's kind of for Christmas, a lot of gifts coming in and all of those stuff. So just quickly yeah, you, you could just keep it around here. And it's going to be okay at that spot. And then I'm going to add in this Christmas decoration elements here also to just kind of like balance the equation. Okay, so I'm just going to hit enter and then drag it down here and then resize it, and then arrange it well, and then boom. I think it's looking nice. Then for this, I just want to reduce it. It's making it look like um, the design is not too well centralized. That's the right top around here. So for this right top, I'm going to change it to yellow, yellow color. Yeah, yellow would do. And then make it a bit bold, by like this, and then, and then boom. So um. With a lot of things now, it looks like we have actually gotten ourselves to design a beautiful fire. You know, it's kind of like attractive, a bit quick because I made it as quick as I could. Uh, like, I actually did all these things and I went them down, convert them to a PDF, I'm um, sorry, a, G, a PNG file actually. Sorry, PNG file. After adding all these elements, I have them separately. If you need them, it will cause some little data change, but I think this should do. This is enough for you. And then maybe just a final touch and then add these stars by yeah it's Christmas time so we have a lot of stars moving around I'm gonna try the box okay just arrange this around then let's have the stars flying around thanks wonderful okay so thank you very much guys for watching I really appreciate you guys and if you are new make sure you subscribe and then check out my check out my videos check them out I have a lot of videos you guys have to watch like I have some coming up so you have to subscribe get notified when each one is coming out so thank you once again for watching my name is Jola Graphics